I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are interested in cycle analysis when I give a uh, bottom uh, for the cycle analysis uh, for NASDAQ Dojon indices for cryptocurrency for uh, US indices a lot of uh, a lot of people were not really happy especially with cryptocurrency uh, so I've got a special um, announcement for you to for you guys so you, if you guys are just uh, you know disappointed don't be because we are uh, in th in today's video, I'll not only mention the uh, the bottoms of cycles that are expected to be formed in U.S. indices, in the U.K. indices, in cryptocurrency, but we'll also be looking at something called uh, medium uh, term, a uh, midterm cycles as well. All right, so that would be performing some very very nice trading opportunities. Apart from that, we'll be able to see the longer term. Uh, trend develop we'll be able to pinpoint the where the trend is expected to, to make a u-turn and if you are a, a trader or an investor who is interested in looking at it uh, on the trading setups on the daily time frame the trading setups for the weekly time frame and the trading setups for the week or or you're interested on the trading setups uh, for the monthly time frame and then stick with me we are going to discuss all of that in today's video we are going to discuss nasdaq dow jones s and p uh, FTSE, crude oil uh, we will look at bitcoin ethereum and we'll do that all of that in in today's video so before we actually go on and i actually miss something give me a moment uh, i need to include crude oil in the list okay so we can do not uh, crude oil futures crude oil no 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 i'm not interested in futures CFD CFD where is CFD mm-hmm okay crude I saw that earlier uh, there it is crude oil alright let's go that in here and then we can actually we can include that into the watch list so I don't have to actually let me see if how I can quickly do that crude oil okay we need to include that into the watch list mm. right click and add crude oil to the watch list okay and then we need to go into the stocks, cryptos, and oil. There it is. All right, problem solved. So in today's video, we are going to discuss all of that one by one. A lot of opportunities on a daily time frame, on a weekly time frame, and on a monthly time frame. And if some of you guys actually got uh, disappointed by looking at cryptocurrency, and that cryptocurrency is going way down and down, and probably there is no opportunity going to come in on near term, then we have very, very good news. Not only that, we have good news for uh, stock indices as well and for the job market as well. Okay, so we're going to discuss that all in today's video. Let's start with our analysis uh, with the NASDAQ. First of all, I will discuss what I'm looking at on a. Let me go back on a daily time frame. So, some of you guys who are interested in cycles, uh, I'm expecting to see the a major a midterm bottom to be formed in by the uh, in, in, in indices in US indices by the mid of September this year as far as the cycle itself the bearish cycle itself is concerned I'm expecting to see a bottom forming in the November of next year which is November 2023 uh, these dates are not random I have done some research uh, the result of that research is being uh, shared with you guys I cannot share the the research itself uh, it's, it's a proprietary method and it's proprietary analysis uh, it's not it's not for uh, YouTube so I'm only sharing I'm expecting that when the fifth wave starts downward we're gonna see we're gonna discuss the extent of the fifth wave and this is the news for Nasdaq Dow Jones S&P and cryptocurrency so all of these four um, charts that we're going to look at it I'm expecting to see the bottom to be formed for mid-term cycle in by in somewhere in, in, in the middle of September this year 
So we have a month and a half left for the bottom to be formed. As far as the price, this is the the common thing that we're going to go through it. And now we're going to pay attention to uh, the the labeling, and we're going to pay attention to the uh, chart individually, and we see where the trading opportunities are. So first of all, I'm looking as you guys can see, we have Nasdaq here. So I'm considering this whole price movement as wave one right over here, and it and wave two. Let me bring that zero over here that we actually started our account from over here. There you go. So we have wave one and then we have an expanded flat and then we have wave three ended somewhere over, over here and right now wave four is going on and we are going to discuss wave four as soon as wave four is complete we are expected to see prices coming down let's have a look at wave four now and see if we can uh, find some useful information now here you guys can see that i've clearly labeled it as a w a zigzag uh, a flat correction another zigzag uh, another zigzag in acts and I'm expecting for the prices to go upward so next six uh, next week and a half uh, starting from day after tomorrow not tomorrow starting from the day after tomorrow which is on Thursday Wednesday I'm expecting that we probably will see come uh, continuation of the bearish price movement and then I'm expecting that from Thursday morning we uh, probably will start seeing bullish price movement upward that will be the Z pattern okay there is also a possibility uh, that we can definitely, definitely consider this as an A pattern uh, for the correction and we can say that the previous impulse wave completed over here. This three wave that you guys are seeing, we can easily drag it in this area and say that it completed over here. In this case, this would become wave A of a flat correction. This would become wave B of a flat correction. And this would become wave C of a flat correction. Both waves are good. Uh, this is also an indication that we are completing wave 4 if we take only this as a correction that correction actually starts from over here that we can actually consider this as that wave 4 is going to complete in the area of the previous uh, 5 wave correction in the area of the correction of the previous impulse wave so right over here so this is all indicating that we are going to see price movement going upward right over here so I've done some other uh, analysis as well all of them are pointing actually towards the bullish price movement for next week and a half say starting from Thursday morning I would say so we t tomorrow probably Wednesday is expected to be bearish day in the industries when you see that how we can actually conform uh, uh, change that into a trading opportunity we need to go on a 15 minute chart and we can actually do that something like this so we can do simply uh, not the but the trend line okay so be really careful the trend line is kind of an estimation I'm expecting that you can probably see something like this but we can definitely use trend line once the structure is complete and the price movement downward is complete we will use the trend line um, when the prices come out of the trend line as an indication to go long so this is uh, one of the analysis that we have for Nasdaq and if you want to be bearish on, if you are kind of a uh, weekly time frame analysis guy, then you want to wait for another week and a half guy so that we can prices are way at the top. In that way, it's up to you what you want to do. Uh, let's have a look at daily time frame. In that way, we can actually wait for the prices to go up right over here and then we can go short. And that short trend is going to be quite long as we have seen right over here too. So in terms of price, there's a possibility that we can actually push the prices all the way back to in this area there's a possibility or somewhere in, this, in the upper range right over here so this is the midterm the bottom then one forms over here this is going to be an important bottom a mid-term cycle bottom is expected to be formed by the mid of September in Nasdaq in Dow Jones in S&P 500 and cryptocurrency but stay with me I have some tiny details to discuss with all of them so stay with me for uh, every single chart this is the analysis for Nasdaq let's have a look at Dow Jones and what uh, we're seeing Nasdaq uh, Dow Jones once again once again that from from this top that we are seeing uh, we have seen started the major major cycle and that cycle is expected to run out somewhere around November of 2023 however given that we are expected to see the cycle cannot actually directly go on right over here so you expected to see a major bottom or midterm now I won't say major I would say midterm bottom is expected to be formed 
in the sept mid of September of 2022. So in a month and a half, we expected to see an important bottom formed. And that prices can be occurring around 26,000 right over here. Uh, I'm, I haven't done the labeling, uh, but on a smaller time frame, if you look at on hourly time frame, you can definitely see that we do not have a larger X downward over here. So this correction is yet not complete. This is clearly a zigzag pattern, a flat correction for that, which is so this is W and X and Y is still going on and expecting that Y will be able to keep the push the prices all the way in this region, which is 33,400 ish area. So this is going to be very interesting trading setup. You can definitely use a trend line and we'll wait for tomorrow and Thursday morning shall be beginning. Uh, provide some opportunities. We can definitely use a trend line. We'll definitely use a price confirmation a tool uh, or you want to wait for horizontal break or it's up to you. It's your choice. What do you want to do? But I'm expecting that we'll see as soon as this correction is complete, we'll see start prices going upward, moving in that direction, probably in a similar way that we have seen over here or over here. All right. So we are seeing, uh, expected to see uh, a similar impulsive uh, wave, not wave, impulsive, impulsive personality. And this can actually occur in a zigzag. So we have completed probably the first part of the zigzag correction and another part of the zigzag that would be itself on its own an impulsive wave. S&P 500 is exactly the same as we have seen Dow Jones. We are expecting to price to complete the pattern and as soon as this is complete, um, Thursday morning we shall expect it price to go long in, in this indices. FTSE is a little different. FTSE has, uh, I think that uh, we have only seen wave 1 in FTSE. Let's go back on hourly, uh, sorry, daily time frame. So as you guys can see, I'm expecting this that we only have seen wave 1 and wave 2 is either complete or very close to the completion and then you're going to see stronger price movement downward. So th uh, and then wave 4 and wave 5. So FTSE is a little different label as compared to US indices. Let's have a look on an hourly time frame. So if you want to trade, uh, if you want to trade, this is how I'm doing. If I, I'm really short on FTSE right now. I've already had, uh, started a position today and my stop loss is in this region. I'm not going to put my stop losses in this region. It, there's a possibility if the top is not reached, in that case, it will be caught out. If it's here, it gets caught out, I would say that, okay, my analysis was wrong. But over here, either wave 2 is complete or we are very close to the completion of wave 2 and the next major move towards uh, in, in FTSE should be downward. So it's... Um, as we are expecting US indices to move upward, I think FTSE has already very, very close to the top and then we are, should be expecting FTSE to go downward. The similar thing goes for crude oil, right over here too. So I'm expecting that we have seen uh, an ABC completion right over here, you guys, and we have seen wave one and wave two. So it's wave one and wave two is complete and we are expected to see prices moving downward next eight to ten days are definitely bearish for crude oil and FTSE. So FTSE and crude oil, I'm expecting that crude oil is, next to, is going expected to move downward in a very interesting way. I'm bearish on FTSE and crude oil and as far as labeling is concerned, you guys can definitely look on a daily time frame and give you guys some hint of what I'm looking at it. Okay. So right now we are still going on within wave three. And as you guys can see that we have seen complete, uh, seen the completion of the correction within wave three. So the next price and price movement is expected to go downward. This channel is giving you a guide indication that you're far away from the target zone, which is somewhere around this region. Let's have a look at Bitcoin. Now Bitcoin is very interesting because it has moved a little bearish. So first of all, um, a lot of people became a little disappointed in my analysis when I said that Bitcoin expected to create a bottom uh, somewhere in the middle of next year. Now these bottoms are very, very uh, interested. Let's say, let me bring the chart over here. Let's uh, zoom out a little. Okay, and uh, let's say auto. Okay. 
who is to say that once that this correction that actually started from over here is going to be going all the way down over here is it not possible that we can actually see something as this an expanded flat we can see a regular flat or expanded flat if it's an expanded flat that actually started from over here we there is potential of starting or seeing a new high all right so in that regard the midterm bottom cycle is very important it plays a major major role uh, for these patterns for example expanded flats if they are not really that important for double zigzags it gives you an opportunity to get out of the bearish market if you are bullish in in a in a double zigzag pattern but the, if the pattern turns out to be an expanded flat that's an amazing amazing opportunity so i'm expecting that we are going to see some major uh, indices uh, some major a lot of coins to be form a bottom in the in the in the middle of september this year and bitcoin and ethereum are definitely uh, going to be leaders that's how at least the price is, uh, uh, is behaving right now let's have a look at what i'm looking right now at this pattern from over here i'm considering this right now as an a and a b and a c within wave c pattern we have completed wave one and two wave three is either over here or over here and if wave three ended over here in this case wave a and wave b and wave c is expected to create an expanded flat and if wave three ended over here in this case still we have w x y x and z and wave 4 is expected to be forming right over here when wave 4 forms are right over here a lot of bulls are going to be trapped in wave 4 because we still have one more wave downward left so be really careful when i give an indication the good news is that by the mid of september it's going to be very very nice trading opportunity for holding the cryptocurrency we are still in about a month and a half away so you guys if some of you guys are, are interested in planning and want to open an account or something and want to gather some cash and want to buy in there's a very very high chances of borrowing being formed in in uh, cryptocurrency in u.s indices by the uh, mid of september once again this bottom could be an important bottom it could be at the same level because if, let's say the two-year cycle occurs in the shape of an expanded flat we are unaware of it how it's going to look at it is you can look at it, uh, look at it, it as, as a double zigzag or an expanded flat or a triangle we are unaware of all that what i'm telling you guys from previous research is that a bottom is expected by the mid end of the next year right now in in uh, in today's video what i'm sharing with you guys is further more detailed analysis a zoom in on that analysis that a midterm bottom an important bottom is expected to be formed in the end of uh, in, in by the mid of september so let's have a look on hourly time frame and after right after this i'm going to talk about job market and how this is really important uh, to look at in the market as a in the job market so we have w x y x and i'm expecting the next price movement uh, it can start any day uh, uh, maybe it has already formed a bottom or we can form form and start going up in a day or two today or tomorrow and we are expected to see a um, sharper price movement upward if you do not see the prices going in that regard still 27,000 is a reasonable reasonable target for Bitcoin but the prices can actually jump up to 32,000 31,000 ish area uh, be really careful it is going to trap a lot of bulls a lot of tra bulls are going to be get trapped so be really careful and you might want to share this analysis with a lot of people uh, because cryptocurrency the problem with cryptocurrency is once it go down from 32,000 it will be going down 90% of 32,000 or let's say 80% of 32,000 in some currencies are probably gonna hold much better as compared to other currencies but once prices goes go down they're gonna be a quite a bearish sentiment in, in the market and that uh, drives the market in a, in a very corner in a very strong corner so let's talk about the job market now a lot of time uh, we are seeing quite positive data as far as the jobs are concerned in in us in europe in uk in asia wherever you go uh, the jobs there are plenty of jobs available right now in the market and it looks like that the uh, the markets are behaving in a different way and the job market is behaving in a completely different way now these jobs come out of these uh, these stocks that are being traded 
that is big company that are being trading on the stock market. So this, what is going to happen when we go up in the bullish cycle, in the midterm cycle is complete, uh, in that case the bullish cycle will start, the midterm bullish cycle will start. So there is very good chance that right at the end of that cycle or probably you'll start losing jobs at the beginning of the cycle. Companies are going to take some time to react to the conditions and that's why I think right now it's happening. They're taking a bit of time because it was very hard for uh, finding the right people in because of COVID. So companies are kind of a little scared of uh, letting people go even though their financial conditions are not really as strong uh, as they were expecting. So I'm expecting that in, in the next bullish run, that we, the midterm bullish run that we're going to see in the market, uh, starting from the mid of September this year, uh, maybe we can easily give it an indication because we started uh, the price going downward in, in uh, we would say, November, December. So if it's going on in eight months, we can give about six to nine months for the, for the bullish price movement to go upward. Uh, just an estimation. For now, we don't have any data. We can actually confirm um, how long the bullish price movement is going to continue in the U.S. indices or in the cryptocurrency, but it's going to be really amazing chances. You can find some small other jobs and uh, hold on to them because uh, the crash is coming. We are definitely, definitely heading towards the uh, the depression, and these are in the initial stages. Uh, next six to eight months are going to be really good if you want to save some money and uh, leave it for the rainy day. So this is what I wanted to share. I think there's a um, short the, the job market is going to drop strongly a lot of people are going to get jobless this is how it goes with the with the uh, when we see uh, crashes in the stock market so the depression I'm still looking towards depression a seven to eight years nine years uh, easily we are looking towards a uh, bearish bearish price sentiment going on for the whole decade all right and we have only started a uh, midterm bottom is expected and midterm, this is midterm, uh, when I'm saying midterm, this midterm is for the wave that I expected to bottom by the end of the next year. So that's why I'm saying midterm. Otherwise, it's a small, very small uh, cycle. A bottom is expected to form in the end of, uh, sorry, by the middle of September. So if you guys have any questions, throw them on, on, on the comment section. And wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.